Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about Tosca Commander setup. This is going to be the last video of the tech series, and we have talked about server installation, agent machine setup, and all. If you are new to this video, do check out my playlist in which there are four more videos, and this is the last video. Okay. So this is one of the most important thing for most of the folks because uh, the second part of this video is most likely where you are going to work on it on a daily basis. Other than other than that, all these other setups will be mostly done one time and rarely things need to be updated there okay so let's get into this so first thing is whichever machine we want to execute our dex execution from this needs to be set up in all those machines now i'll convey what steps we need to follow in order to set it up but this can be set up using project settings as well so it will be one time setup for all the users okay now first thing is we need to navigate to the project settings and go to distributed execution let me show you that so if you go to your tosca commander you will find this option called project on the left corner if you click on this you will find a section called settings the moment you click on settings uh, we'll get it uh, we'll wait for it to get loaded okay so here you will select on to commander and the first option you will see distributed execution so since we are dealing with distributed execution we have to set it up so you will find two things here monitor url and server so here we have to pass in the right information where uh, instead of local host your server address would be there and the other things are going to remain same same thing for monitor url you have to mention the server address okay proxy is optional so it will depend if you have set it up you have to mention that accordingly okay now if i'll go back to my article here you will see I have laid down the steps here. So first thing is we go to settings commander distributed execution server and we will set up the endpoint address if you see in this image same image I have copied here okay. Same thing you will set it up for the URL okay. These two will be useful I will uh, uh, I'll tell in the later part of the video how these are going to be useful for the viewing purpose as well. The third part is we have to make sure that the tricenter services section also contains the server endpoint address so if you are working in the multi user repository this most likely is going to be already set but just in case you are doing it for the first time this needs to be set up as well and again this is going to contain your tosca server address uh, the exact format and all those things i have mentioned uh, here like basically you need to mention the port as well which is going to be enabled in your machines which is going to act as a communication thing so uh, for all of these things I have mentioned the uh, the syntax or the or the way you have to set it up the exact uh, path okay now all these three setup is just a one-time setup okay once this is set up then we will move to the next section which is test event creation and configuration I did talk about test event in the previous videos but for this particular video it is essential so I'll just repeat it so here if you see if you go to first of all we have to go to execution list so if i'll go to execution and open this you will see you will have execution list you have a, you'll have some other options configurations and then you'll have test events okay so if you are new to this you might feel that uh, execution list i can execute all my scripts from here why do i need test event or what does test event do so basically test events whole sole purpose is to execute your scripts in a remote environment not on your local machine so even if you have things set up here and you try to execute it it is going to execute not on your local machine on your remote environment okay so if i right click on this i'll get an option to create a new test event i have a single user repository that's why we are not able to see that here but i have put the actual screenshots here for you to understand so here if you go First thing is we navigate to the execution section as I was explaining Then obviously we have to check it out and then you'll right click and you'll find this option uh, the green option which is highlighted that will create your test event. Now you can create as many test events as you want and structure your test cases accordingly. So since the test event is created there are two main parameters in the test event. First thing is configurations. What do we mean by configuration? So configuration section you can see here okay 
basically the configuration section contains the details of the agent machines now there are a lot of variations in agent machines that can be set up based on your project needs and all it could be rdp it could be any it could be uh, like browser based or it could be uh, ram based and all those sort of uh, niche parameters are there based on your like you have the flexibility to set it up but on a higher level you can use any for executing any script which is not dependent on ui automation specific uh, like on a higher level on ui automation because ui automation will only execute if it recognizes that one person is actually executing it okay so that's where rdp comes into picture if we want unattended execution we have to set up rdp now you can set up based on your project needs like if you have ui automation if you have api and all api can work in this but not in this okay so you set up your machines accordingly now whatever type of setup you will do you will be able to see the number of agents being populated here okay in case you have set it up and still you are not able to see and all the configurations are in place if you right click on this you will find an option called refresh now and that will give you uh, what that will do is it will again form a connection with server it will make a request to the server and it will try to find out what machines are available right now and it is going to populate here let me show you that screen here so you will get something like this in this particular uh, screenshot you see 5555 five, five, five. so that's how it is going to be displayed how many number of machines we have set it up okay now in order for our test even to understand on what machine they can execute the first parameter would be we have to drag and drop the required configuration into the into that particular test event so if i want any if i want rdp if i want both of them i can drag and drop into the test event so here if you will see in the screenshot see if you see on the top header it is written any okay so that is the first thing which we need to do the second thing is now whatever execution whatever way i have set up my execution list i have to drag and drop my execution list into that particular test event okay now you can structure your execution list based on the timing and uh, uh, which machine you want to execute but there is a way to execute scripts inside the execution list parallelly as well i am going to talk about that because those are the optional setups but till now whatever setup we have done after this we are good to do our execution so once this is set up your machines are up your server is up and running all we got to do is go to our test event and whichever event you want to run you can right click and you will get a option called execute now and you can execute it okay it's a good idea uh, to refresh your configurations to make sure that the agents are being displayed just to avoid any failures and obviously the previous setups which we have talked about that the machine needs to be available and all those sort of things needs to be are the prerequisite for running your test events okay now people might think that okay i have two execution list one execution list is going to take 5 hours and second execution list is going to take let's say 2 hours okay and i have created those in two different test events but what i want is if my two scripts are executed in 2 hours i don't want my uh, machine to be idle i want other machine to execute on other machine or something like that okay basically i want to efficiently do my execution in the lesser time frame okay so for that there are some optional setups which i'll talk about now so basically parallel execution setup now when we are talking about parallel execution setup this is inside one particular execution list because if you have more machines here then it is obviously going to run in parallel into different machines but now we are talking about how to enable parallel execution in one particular execution list and we have to make sure that if one execution list contains five scripts those five scripts are not dependent on each other because then it would not be a good idea we are going to run and it is dependent so it is going to fail okay so only if they are independent of each other then this is a good route to go through okay now for that to set up you have to again go to your project you have to check out your root element and then you will see this properties definition okay you might not be able to see this if you try to see it in your tosca 
मे बी बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव एडमिन परमिशन बट हुएवर इज गोइंग टू हैव द एडमिन परमिशन दे आर गोइंग टू सी दिस पर्टिकुलर टैप प्रॉपर्टीज डेफिनेशन ओके सो हियर यू गो टू एग्जीक्यूशन लिस्ट एंड यू सेलेक्ट द ऑप्शन टू क्रिएट प्रॉपर्टी ओके एंड देयर वंस यू क्रिएट द प्रॉपर्टी यू रीनेम दैट टू टी सी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एग्जैक्टली लाइक दिस वी नीड टू मैंशन इट ओके now once you add this you will see this option called visible you have to che check that uh, check box okay as well as at the folder level continuous integration build root folder you have to check it out and the result folder for the test event okay now this is one setup which needs to be done for parallel execution inside the execution list okay now once you are done with this what will happen is you can go to your execution list and decide which execution list you want to run parallelly okay so those all steps i have mentioned here choose the execution list containing your test cases you intend to run concurrently within the properties pane uh, since you have set this up if you go to your execution list like in this particular uh, picture you will find a option called tc distribution on the bottom okay if you set it to true then your scripts inside one execution list are going to run parallelly if not then it is not going to run parallelly okay so this is the optional setup uh, if required we can do it like that but if not required we can skip this particular part now this is on a higher level i have uh, covered how to set it up and how to do executions here but uh, things might change based on project and settings and uh, what kind of things we are trying to achieve for this part for your particular business requirement uh earlier i have shared the linkedin article in which i have covered uh, uh, these two setups i am going to amend this particular thing in that particular uh, linkedin article so now it is going to be completed like this uh there are a lot of variations in dex for us to understand uh, little complex but uh, i have tried to simplify it as much as i can i hope this is useful and uh, this brings some value to you and if you check out my channel i have lot of other videos uh, related to tosca some to selenium uh, i've started working on git as well so do check it out and uh, i have launched recently launched the membership program as well on my youtube channel so if you feel like that consider subscribing to that as well and thank you very much have a great day bye bye